Oh, 
just allowing us this opportunity to be here with yes, you. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Because had it not been for your grace oh, and your mercy, oh, yes. oh, we would not be here. Thank yes. you, Lord. And so I'm here to do the so let me just start by saying welcome, 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 welcome to those who are in the house this morning. I say welcome to my two honorary guests. I don't even know their yes. names. Hey. And then when I, as I was passing by, they rocked into the music. Yes. Yeah. Okay, on, then. Yeah. Then I was sick ready and I looked at it and they were still rocking. I said, okay, then let me open up the door and then come on in. Come on in. <laughs> we all we don't have a problem. Yeah. Come on in. Yeah. And um, if you don't have a church home and you live in the area, feel free to come and worship with us anytime. Whenever you come and do your laundry, as long as we're here, please feel free to come and worship. As for our online guests, I just want to say, well, this goes for everybody as well. I just want to say that I do wish you a happy afternoon, yes. although I'm very short. Yes. But my wish could not be bigger. Yes. It's I for six feet tall. Yes. <laughs> so hallelujah, hallelujah. We just want to go ahead and start our share time and just um, greet everybody. Um, we're not doing this wasting anymore. No, I, 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 I pray again for that in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So we're going to love somebody in Jesus' name. Tell them that you love them in Jesus' name. Tell them we can work together in Jesus' name. Everybody smile. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I'm counting my blessings today. Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. I said, I'm counting my blessings today. Amen. I'm grateful to see each and every one here in the land of the living. I lost another family member. And I'm still here. And I'm still counting my blessings. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Lord is still kind. And He is still good. And He is still glorious and perfect in all His ways. And he's still doing all things well. Hallelujah. Yeah. When upon life billows you were tempestuous. When you are discouraged thinking all is lost. Oh, count your many blessings. Name them one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord.
protection over my fiance's life, the car, coming back from Detroit to be here at service today. Yes. And Jesus. when an accident could have, the accident happened right before him. My and God. somehow, God but made God. him go around. Yes, so Lord, I, Lord. I, I thank God for my morning dew. I thank God for my best friend. I thank oh, God yeah. for your safety. Return back home. Thank you. Hallelujah. Because his job does require for him to 
use those muscles a lot. And so, you know, from time to time, he managed to slip them up. So Hallelujah. just go ahead and pray for him in Jesus' name. And so in his absence, his wonderful son, yes. Jermiel Evans, will come and read come on, the word. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. And we stand for the reading of God's word. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the ferment of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellence, greatness. Praise him with the sound of trumpet. Of trumpet. Praise him with the, the sultry and harp. Praise him with timbrel and dance. Praise him with string instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Come on. Let every sing that hath breath yes. praise the Lord. Yes. Praise, praise ye the Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you for the word. The word of God is already blessed. Yes. Um, to get into our, our notices and announcements, um, first I'm going to say just go ahead and uh, keep those who need prayers in mind. I'll start there. Let's keep Apostle and um, his church family up in New York in mind yes, um, and continue to pray for the RM Ministries Incorporated and International all over the world um, and for those who are affiliated with this ministry all over the world. Um, we pray for the leaders and the ministers um, that God will strengthen them in this hard time. It's kind of hard these days to, to have church. Um, especially since the pandemic hit and a lot of people went home and decided to stay home. Uh -huh. And so um, we just want to keep them in prayers. We want to keep the leaders of our countries in prayers. Yeah. Uh, it's not easy, again, to lead, you know, an entire nation. And so you will always find that they're in a position where, where they please some and disappoint others. Right. Yes. And, and that's, you know, just comes with the job. Yeah. But they still have to shoulder those burdens. Um, a lot of times we don't want to agree to disagree. Uh -huh. uh, and, you know, we can't please everybody. That's true. And so we pray for the presidents and prime ministers and kings and queens and, you know, everybody in their respective offices. And we just pray that God continue to keep them and help them to make the right decisions for humanity overall. Because we all have to share this world together whether we know it or not. That's right. And so we, we, we just ask for prayers for them in Jesus' name. Jesus. On Wednesdays from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. is usually our fasting. And we ask that for those of you who are not ill, who are not taking medication, and who can fast to go ahead and, you know, fast with us, pray with us, pray over these things that we um, need to pray over and ask God for strength in the ministry and that, you know, the ministry will grow and that his word will get out by any means necessary. Amen. Because the word of God said that he will not return unto everybody. That's right. Everybody in every corner of this world hear his word. Amen. So I pray that, you know, we continue to fast and pray because right now I'm saying, come Lord Jesus, come quickly. Yes. I don't even know if I'm ready, oh, but God. I'm saying, come Lord Jesus, come quickly. I'm because you know, the Bible did say that he will shorten the days for the elect. Yes. And so sometimes when you see some of the things that are happening here in this world, you want to say, come Lord Jesus, come quickly. But at the same time, we do realize that he's not here yet because there are many people who still have not heard this gospel. My God. And just, so we just want to go ahead and pray for those needs or shut in elders. Please pray for them. Mama P and Daddy David in particular. They are, you know, faithful members of this church. They just can't come out. Daddy David is sick, and Mama P is his primary care take, primary caretaker. And so we have to keep her in prayers, keep them in prayers. Mama Rose, Daddy Rose, from the time of the pandemic, they're not able to come out also. And so I just want to pray for them. I want to pray for those who used to be a part of this ministry and maybe, is, you know, has moved on to someplace else. I am a firm believer that God keep us in certain places for 
you know, short periods of time, short seasons. And so just don't feel as though you are forgotten. Don't feel as though, you know, you are no longer a part of the body of God. You are always a part of the body of God. The word of God said he's married to the backsliders. And if we're not counting you a backslider, but if he's married to the backslider, he's still married to you. And so we we, we just lift you up in prayers and, and ask that, you know, each of us everywhere just keep each other in prayers because we are still all a part of the body of God and of each other. And so with all of those, we just ask that, you know, we never forget them. We never forget to pray. We never forget to lift them up. We never forget the ministry that they're affiliated with. And, you know, so that, you know, the body of Christ can be strengthened. Amen. 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 Um, Hallelujah. Our outreach and evangelism are Saturdays at 12 noon. You can reach out to pastor to find out from week to week what is being done on those Saturdays and feel free to join in wherever you are from however you are. You know, donate to the ministry. That's right. Give to the ministry. If you can't yes. be here to help, just give to the ministry. Tuesday nights, we have virtual Bible studies at 8 p.m. Virtual Bible study at 8 p.m. on Facebook and YouTube and all of that. So tune in to Regenerating Lives Ministries and join in to the Bible study. You know, feel free to come and feel free to, you know, talk and discuss. We, we love that sort of thing. And for those of you who have not yet gotten on, it's been hot. It's been hot. We've been having some very hot discussions. <laughs> so feel free to join in. Women's meetings are second Saturdays of every month at 7 p.m. And that's on Zoom for right now as well. Youth meetings are Saturdays at 8 p.m. on Zoom as well. And, and youth, if you do feel like joining, get the information. They do have a wonderful time on Zoom sometimes. All the time. 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 Men Ministries every last Saturday of the month at 7 p.m. And um, we do have some uh, a forum that we're calling the Gathering. And so it's really a fundraising forum. Feel free to take one. Feel free to present it to family, friends, loved ones, and bring it back with whatever they donated to us. Feel free to take one of these. Um, we are getting ready to go into our share time. I mean, sorry, in our offering. Yes. And so, yes. for those of you who does not have your offering here with you, feel free to sell it to the church yes. at um, RGL Ministries two zero one one at hotmail dot com. And if you go ahead and go into your bank and you put that in, it'll pop up. You know, save it under the church, and you can be free. To give to the church via that means. Okay? So that ends our announcements and our um, events. Um, Now we are getting ready to take our offering, and Brother Michael is going to come up and take our offering for us.
further in the program, it's the Caroline. It's gonna replace it tonight. Yes, yes, yes. Bless us. Bless us with beautiful Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless our Lord. Hallelujah.
Worship is a lifestyle. It's not just about the talent. Worship is a lifestyle. And that's what God wants us to do. He wants us to worship it. We are placed here for the sole purpose of worshiping. That's right. And so I, I, I like what you said about Please. that. So now we're going to move into our morning word that will be brought to us by none other Come on. than the leader, yeah. the Yeah. 
going to pray today. Yes. Sister Evans, hallelujah, glory to God. Yes. As you see, I want you to come and stand at the altar. As you stand in the gap for the elders today. Yes. Hallelujah, we are first prayer point is going to be for the elders today. And we're lifting up Mama P and Daddy David. We're lifting up Mother Rose and Daddy Rose. We're lifting up Mama V and Uncle Luther. Hallelujah. And as you see. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
we gonna pray that you also my sister Keisha you're gonna send this prayer up to heaven for married folks because the enemy is coming hard after marriages